Alright, welcome to Budget MTG Decks. All magic fun, all cards are under a dollar. Now we all know that mana is power. What better way to show your omnipotence than having an unlimited supply of it? With that in mind, let's have a look at 5 infinite mana combos you won't believe are budget. Combo 1, Composite Death Mantle. For this combo, we're going to need Nim Death Mantle on the battlefield. It states that whenever a non-token creature is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, we get to pay 4 mana and then return that card to the battlefield and attach Nim Death Mantle to it. We're also going to need Composite Golem on the battlefield. We can sacrifice Composite Golem and add 5 mana to our mana pool. To make the combo go off, we simply sacrifice Composite Golem and get our 5 mana. Then we'll use 4 of those mana to return Composite Golem back to the battlefield and attach Nim Death Mantle to it. At that point, we can once again sacrifice Composite Golem and once again pay the 4 mana and return it back to the battlefield once again, each time allowing us to keep one mana in our mana pool for an infinite amount of mana. Combo 2, Grand Pilipala. For this combo, we're gonna need Grand Architect on the battlefield. Grand Architect allows us to turn an artifact creature into a blue artifact creature for one blue mana. It also allows us to tap an untapped blue creature we control to add two mana to our mana pool. We can only spend this mana to cast artifact spells or, or activate abilities of artifacts. Then we're gonna need Pilipala on the battlefield. We can pay 2 mana and untap Pilipala to add 1 mana of any color to our mana pool. To make the combo go off, we first need to turn Pilipala into a blue creature. We do this with Grand Architect's ability of paying 1 blue mana. Then we're going to tap Pilipala with Grand Architect to give us 2 mana. Then we're going to use that 2 mana and untap Pilipala to give us 1 mana of any color to our mana pool. At this point in time, we can once again tap Pilipala to give us 2 mana, and we can once again put those 2 mana into Pilipala to untap it and then give us again a mana of any color. We can do this an infinite amount of times for an infinite amount of mana of pretty much any color we desire. Combo 3, Enduring Ornithopter Altar. For this combo, we're going to need Enduring Renewal on the battlefield. Enduring Renewal states that whenever a creature is put into your graveyard from play, return it to your hand. We're also going to need Ashnod's Altar on the battlefield. It will allow us to sacrifice the creature to add 2 colorless mana to our mana pool. Finally, we're going to need Ornithopter on the battlefield. Ornithopter is an artifact creature that costs 0 mana to play. To make the combo go off, we're going to cast Ornithopter and then sacrifice it to Ashnod's Altar. As it will die, it will return to our hand and we will get 2 colorless mana. At this point, we can cast Ornithopter once again for 0 mana, and we will once again be able to sacrifice it for an additional 2 colorless mana. We can repeat this process as many times as we want, gaining us an infinite amount of colorless mana. Combo 4, Magus of the Sword. For this combo, we're going to need Magus of the Coffers on the battlefield. Magus of the Coffers allows us to pay 2 mana, tap it, and add 1 black mana to our mana pool for each swamp we control. In addition to that, we're going to need 6 swamps on the battlefield. We're also going to need to equip Magus of the Coffers with Sword of the Perunes. Sword of the Perunes allows us to pay 3 mana and untap equipped creature. To make the combo go off, we're going to have Magus of the Coffers on the battlefield equipped with Sword of the Perunes, and we're going to tap our 6 swamps, giving us 6 mana. We're going to use 2 of those mana to tap Magus of the Coffers and add 1 black mana to our mana pool for each swamp we control, which is 6, which gives us a grand total of 10 mana. Then we're going to use 3 of those 10 mana to untap Magus of the Coffers through the Sword of the Prunes, and we're going to use the additional 2 black mana and tapping Magus of the Coffers to add 1 black mana to our mana pool for each swamp we control, which is 6, giving us 11 mana. Now we can repeat this process as many times as we want, each time adding more black mana to our mana pool until we have an infinite amount of black mana. Combo 5, Deadeye Cloud Chancery. For this combo, we're going to need a copy of Deadeye Navigator on the battlefield. Deadeye Navigator can soul bond with a creature entering the battlefield, which means that we can pay 2 mana to exile that creature and then return it to the battlefield under our control. We're also going to need an island and an Azorius Chancery on the battlefield. Azorius Chancery is a land that gives us 2 mana. Finally, we're going to need Cloud of Fairies. When Cloud of Fairies enters the battlefield, we get to untap up to 2 lands. To make the combo go off, we're going to cast, we're, we're first going to tap the island and the Azorius Chancery, giving us 3 mana, then Cloud of Fairies enters the battlefield using 2 of those mana, and then we get to untap 2 lands, giving us, once again, 3 mana, which we can tap for 
total of four mana. Now we can exile Cloud of Fairies with Dead Eye Navigator's ability, paying two mana. We're gonna exile Cloud of Fairies. It's gonna to return to the battlefield and we get to untap the island and the Azorius Chancery once again, which we can tap once again for another three mana. In essence, we can repeat this as many times as we want, gaining us an infinite amount of mana. So what are some awesome combo cards that we can use when we have an infinite amount of mana? One example is Snake Basket. With Snake Basket on the battlefield, we can pay an infinite amount of mana, sacrifice Snake Basket, and then put an infinite amount of Cobra tokens into play. These tokens are 1-1 one, one green creatures. We can also play Fireball and pay one red mana and then the infinite amount of mana we have gained to deal X damage divided evenly among any number of target creatures and or players. We have to pay an additional mana for each target beyond the first, but as we have an infinite amount of mana, we can do an infinite amount of damage to an infinite amount of target creatures and or players. We can also play Stream of Life, paying one green and an infinite amount of mana to give us an infinite amount of life. Finally, we can play Wet Wheel, paying an infinite amount of mana into Wet Wheel, tapping it, and we could make a target opponent put an infinite amount of cards from his or her library into his or her graveyard, essentially milling them out. Well, those are five infinite mana combos you won't believe our budget. Remember, all cards we use cost less than a dollar, so pretty much anybody can try them out. We do advise caution though, as these combos are not a lot of fun to play against. Please press that subscribe button now, as it allows us to make more videos, and you'll be notified when we make a next top five list. Thanks for watching. I'm David, and this was Budget MTG Decks.